Begin by using the New Design from File tool to open the LED bulb model. When the model is open, be sure to save it to your active project. Switch to the Simulation Workspace to begin the analysis, selecting the Thermal Study Type and clicking on Create Study. When the model comes in, it will display its materials. It will also display an additional body that wasn't visible in the model workspace. This body was used to help define the shape of the cooling fins. Going to the Simplify workspace, you can select the body and delete it. And while you are here, expand the model components, select the globe, and select Remove from the context menu. Then, choose Finish Simplify to return back to the simulation model. Now, under Materials, select Study Materials and review the different types of materials that are presently used in the model. We'll select Cancel to close the dialog. Next, you'll begin placing loads. First, we'll apply an internal heat to the diodes themselves. Selecting the four diodes, apply an internal heat value of 25 watts. This will account not only for the diodes, but also for the controllers. After the thermal loads have been set, click OK to close the dialog and return back to the thermal loads tool. Now you'll apply a convection. By clicking and dragging to the left, you'll select the surfaces of the heat sink. The convection load will simulate the ambient temperature of the room that the bulb will be in. We'll set a convection value of 1000 with the current units and then change the temperature units to Fahrenheit and set the value at 70. Then click OK to create this load. In the display panel, select the Degrees of Freedom view. This will show you the conducting elements in green, which are the components you've added thermal loads to, and the insulated elements in red. What we want to be able to do is have the heat transfer through everything. So we'll run automatic contacts and update the assembly using the contacts. Once the contacts are made, the entire assembly is seen as conducting. Now we can solve the model. A thermal study can be run on the cloud or locally. To save time and cloud credits, run the solution locally. After a few moments, the results will appear. You can change the units of the display of the results to make sure that you're most comfortable in understanding what's happened. Here, I'll switch it to Fahrenheit. We're able to see the range of temperature is 71 degrees Fahrenheit to 96.9. We can change the display of the minimum until it reads roughly 80 degrees Fahrenheit and see how much of the model is setting at that temperature. The goal for the design is to not have any part of the bulb at 80 degrees, so we'll need to make some modifications to the design. It's possible to use the Simplify workspace to create alternative designs, but for this model, we'll take advantage of parametric modeling. Return back to the model workspace, and the last item in the timeline is a circular pattern. Double click on the circular pattern and in the quantity value, update it to 14. Then click OK to update the model. Returning back to the simulation workspace, you'll see the previous results still displayed. You'll also see a warning on the mesh and on the results since the model is changed. Edit the convection load and clear the current selection set. You need to reselect the new heat sink to make sure you get a proper analysis. Once you've selected all the faces, click OK and solve the simulation job again. When the results appear, you can see the range of temperature is roughly the same. There's some changes, but using the legend to find the 80 degree mark, you'll see that it's all internal and very close to the drivers for the LEDs themselves. This gives us the result you were looking for, and if it didn't, you could make additional changes until the design requirements were met.